You're trying to use the mobile hotspot feature on your Windows 10 computer, but it seems to be disabled. Maybe the system administrator did it, or perhaps someone else messed with the settings without your knowledge. Or maybe you just don't know how to enable it yourself. Well, don't worry, because I've got the solution for you right here in this video. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all my tech and media related tips and tutorials. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. Welcome to Solve It with Speed Tech, where we specialize in providing solutions for information communication technology and media related issues. Today in this video, I want to show you how to enable and disable the mobile hotspot features on your Windows 10 computer. Maybe you usually turn on and turn off your mobile hotspot on your Windows 10 computer at will, but suddenly the mobile hotspot was disabled from being turned on, meaning that the button where you turn on the mobile hotspot is displaying as if it is no longer active and you were unable to use the features of the mobile hotspot. Follow the steps and procedures in this video to enable the mobile hotspot on your Windows 10 computer. You will need to access Microsoft Common Console document known as gpedit.msc to be able to activate the mobile hotspot feature on your Windows 10 computer. For the sake of this video, I have practically two ways to access Microsoft Common Console document on Windows 10 computer. There could be other ways. These two steps will give you the same result. For the first method to access the Microsoft Common Console document, open the run command of your computer by clicking on the Windows button, type run. On the run dialog box that will appear, type the gpheadit.msc and click OK or press Enter on the keyboard. This is the environment where the mobile hotspot feature will be activated on your Windows 10 computer. For the second method to access Microsoft Common Console document, open the local disk of your computer. Open the Windows folder, Look for System32. From the System32 folder that is open, look for gpedit.msc. You can type GP on the keyboard to take you straight to alphabet starting with G. You can see the gpedit.msc file located on the System32 of the Windows folder. Double-click on the file to open it. You can see the same environment we opened earlier. On this same environment, expand the Local Group Policy Editor for a better view. Click to expand Administrative Template. Click and expand Network. On the Network panel, double-click to open Network Connections. On the Network Connections panel, double-click on Prohibit Use of Internet Connection Sharing on your DNS Domain Network. On this environment, select and click Enabled or Disabled depending on the situation you find yourself. But to prevent Mobile Hotspot from being active on Windows 10 computer, I will click Enabled. Click Apply and click OK. Let's minimize this window to check the mobile hotspot settings. You'll need to go into the Settings menu. From there, you'll navigate to the Network and Internet section and then select the Mobile Hotspot option. As you can see, the mobile hotspot settings is disabled. You can't be able to switch on or switch off the mobile hotspot. Follow the same procedure to enable the mobile hotspot on your Windows 10 computer. 
I will return it to where it was before. Note that if your mobile hotspot of your Windows 10 computer is unable to be switch on or off, it means the settings to prevent you from switching it on or off is already enabled. In this situation, the right button to press here is disabled or not configured. I believe you find this video helpful. That is the simple way to enable and disable the mobile hotspot features on your Windows 10 computer. Write on the comments section if you have any questions on something you want us to assist you with. Please don't forget to give this video thumbs up and also share with your friends. If you want more videos like this, click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. See you in my next video and thanks for watching.